Whoa. What, what are you I'm doing sorry, here? I didn't, I didn't know anybody. You know you're trespassing. I, I do now. I'm, I'll get out of your way. Who are you? I'm Adam Lance. Nice to meet you. I clean a bunch of the pools in this area. Oh. I'm Gail Foley. My daughter and I just, just moved in last week. Well, that explains it. Explains what? Explains why I didn't know you were here. <laughs> the realtor hired me to clean the pool. Forgot to tell me that he sold the place. <laughs> yeah, I was the old owner's pool cleaner, Rhonda Phillips. Oh, the, the woman who died. It was a real tragedy. I guess she slipped getting into the tub, hit her head and drowned. Yeah, I didn't hear any of the details. I just I heard there was an accident five months ago. Well, you're here now. I guess I'm out of a job. I'm really sorry that I scared you. I really didn't mean to. I'll get out of your hair, Gail. Uh, wait, you know, um, I was just talking with Becca, my daughter, about how we do need somebody to clean the pool. What are your rates? Well, uh, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, first time's on the house, and uh, I'll come back every week or so, and if you like my performance, 75 flat feet. Oh, you can't beat that with a stick or pole. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's see what you can do. Awesome, great. And Gail, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. I clean up nice. My friends call me Becca. Well, your mom hired me to clean the pool, Becca. <laughs> Way to go, Mom. Well, uh, I, you know, I shouldn't be much longer. Sorry. Oh, don't uh, rush on my account. It's fine. Here, I drop. What? The ice cream? It's dripping. Oh, um, <laughs> it's kind of warm out here. Um, yeah, I, sh I should probably take it inside. Let's meet you back up. heard of Prince Charming, right? I just met Prince Gorgeous. <laughs> I think I'm in love. How are you doing this wonderful Sunday? I'm all right. Just, uh, you know, finishing up some work. Work? Today? You know what they say about all work and no play. It makes Jack Torrance go crazy. 
Huh? Never mind. Oh, I just left some of my buckets out back. I thought I'd come grab them. You're my guest. Thank you. Where are you from, Adam? I'm from all over, but I like here a lot. Nice people, a lot of pools. And ever since my mom passed away, I've kind of been fending for myself. I'm really sorry to hear that. It's okay. Where's your father? Well, he left this when we were young, but, you know, we're better off without him. I can relate to that. You are one popular lady. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gail. What are you doing here, Tony? Just wanted to say hi. See how you guys are settling in. And, um, I was wondering why you hadn't signed the papers yet. You were good. The move is fine. And my lawyer charges by the hour, so he's taking a sweet time finalizing the approval. But, you know, if you're in a rush, no. you could go ahead and light a fire under. No rush. Just asking. I'm gonna take a drive down the coast. Alone? Not exactly. Hi, I'm Cindy. New car, huh? Uh, yeah, I thought it was time for an upgrade. A new model. Maybe I'll let you take it for a spin sometime. I didn't know you had company. Good, you found the, you found the bucket. Uh, uh, this is Adam, my pool boy. Pool man, I'm 25. Sorry, man, just an expression. Uh, this is Tony, my ex-husband. A man who acts like a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Cindy. Ah, uh, well, we better get going if we want to beat that coastal traffic. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Gail. You too, Tony. Looks like you have your hands full yet again. Don't believe him. He just showed up here to flaunt his new car and his new bimbo. Oh, look at me. Look how great my life is. Upgrade my ass. You know what? He's trying to turn Becca against me. Trying to make me out to be the villain, but I'm not the one who cheated on him. Gail, I know it's not my place to say, but I think you're way better off without him. You just tell me, why is it okay for a man to date a woman half his age, but somehow it's looked down upon for a woman to be with a younger man? I've never understood that. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't. I... I blame the double standards for movies and television. You're right, you know, but I wouldn't even know because my television, of course, isn't working. Well, what's wrong with it? I don't know. I can't figure it out. Well, maybe I can. <laughs> I'm pretty good with technology. Where is it? Upstairs. But look, I don't want to take no, 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 your whole no, day. Fine. It's fine. I got to another client for a couple of hours. Your room, right? Uh, yeah, my room. Okay. You did it! So what was the problem? The inputs were reversed. Connection was all messed up. <sighs> Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, Gil, I think you ought to forget about that loser. Uh, you need someone to make you truly happy. Yeah, you're preaching to the choir. You're so stressed. You need to relax. Maybe I can help with that, too. Why, Mr. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. Mr. Huh. What? <laughs> I don't. I don't. You're you're really sweet, but th this this isn't gonna happen. Why not? Do you want reason number one or number fifty-seven? Yeah. <laughs> one can always find a reason to not do something, Gail. A fear, a justification, a use of better judgment, but people tend to regret the things in life they don't do. And what's the fun in that? Not living? Gail, aren't you entitled to a little fun, too? It has been a long time, but... Don't be afraid to live. I'm not afraid. Good.
you have to tell me everything. Start from his chest and work your way down. Well, he was wearing shorts, but he wasn't wearing a shirt. Mm, muscles. And then some. <laughs> Go on and on and on and on. I'm afraid if I do, you'll explode. I don't care. I need visuals. What's his name? Adam. Please tell me you got a last name. I did. Adam Lance. Ooh, short for Lance a lot. <laughs> did he have a lot of Lance? <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> but this is impossible. What? I can't find him anywhere. He's like no social media presence. No Adam Lance? Well, there must be a thousand. I know, there's nothing. Is this him? Not even close. <laughs> well, if he's as hot as you say he is, you better make your move fast, girl. My moves? <sighs> well, it's time Miss Becca learns some moves. <laughs> <laughs> Class is now in session. <laughs> 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 oh boy, what did I do? You did everything right. You're an amazing woman, Gail. And you are an impressive cool boy. And this was a nice one-time thing. What do you mean? You're really nice and really handsome. And also, you're really, really young. But didn't you just give this whole speech about how it's okay for older women to date younger men? What happened to that? I don't want to stoop to Tony's level. I'm better than him. In every way. Which is why I can't do this again. Come on. Just please try to understand this. I have a daughter, and you're young enough to be my son. But I'm not your son. Thank goodness for that. You want me to go? I think that would be best. I mean, look, this was great. It really was. And, and you fixed my TV. You are quite the handyman. Handyman? I was a pool boy. Come on. I'll show myself out. Tonight, the sun is still shining. Look out the window. I am. He's here. Who is there? Mr. Tall, dark, and chiseled? Yep. He's outside. Doing what? Skinny dipping. I'm kidding. He's cleaning the pool. What else? That was... That was cruel. All right, this is perfect for you, then. Just do what we talked about. Be cool about it. And make sure you look hot. Oh, hey. Hey. I didn't know you were here. Uh, yeah, just getting your pool ready for action. And is it? It's open for business anytime you feel like getting wet. <laughs> Mother around? Um, no, she's still at work. Probably not to be around for hours. Hours? Hmm. Cool. Why? Is she supposed to pay you today? Nah, that's cool. She'll pay eventually.
You need some help with that? You're back? Uh, sure. That'd be great. Thank you. You in high school, Becca? Uh, I'm, I'm a senior. I just turned 18. Wow. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> Thanks. How about you? College board? No. College is too theoretical. I'm into more hands-on stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, you're done. You're not. I hear someone's sorry. It was Jackie's idea. Who's Jackie? She's my best friend. Oh. Well, I guess it's a good idea for Cool to check out the pool for anybody else, huh? Yeah. How is it? See for yourself if you can. Showing some special attention to my two favorite clients. Why? Can I talk to you for a moment inside? Yeah, sure, no problem. thought that I made it clear yesterday that what happened between us... It was a one-time thing? Yeah, I got it. And it was really special, but I, I think this should just stay between the two of us. I'm not going to tell your daughter if that's what you think. Good. So what are you doing here? I told you I'd take care of your pool. Yeah, you were supposed to come once every week or once every other week. Some pools need a little extra attention. <laughs> Not my pool. Well, it looks like it's Becca's pool, too. I think she's going to be using it a little more than you. Adam, don't make me say this more than once. You stay away from my daughter. Why? I mean, things are obviously over between us. And uh, I'm free to see whoever I want. Okay, she's only 18 years old. That's the legal age. Not in this household. It just doesn't seem fair. I'm too young for you. I'm too old for her. I mean, where do I lie here? I, I just... I'm starting to sound like my mom, you know that? It's actually kind of starting to turn me on. I think you should go. You're the boss. I gotta go. Okay. I got some stuff to do. Okay. What are you doing Saturday? I could make myself available. What do you have in mind? I don't know. Lunch, dinner. What do you do? Yeah, okay. Okay, what? Lunch. Lunch it is. Sounds like a date. Okay. <laughs> today. Where are you off to? Um, 
Just getting together with Jackie. We're gonna do some studying. Studying? <laughs> you, on a Saturday? Yeah. We have final exams next week. In what? Fashion design? We're going to study at a library. People are going to see us there. Doesn't want to look good. Look good for who? You know, there's no harm in taking pride in one's appearance, Mother. Maybe you should try it sometime. And maybe you should start telling the truth for a change. I am telling you the truth. Maybe if you would have cared more how you look, Dad wouldn't have left. Do you really think that? It's Jackie. She's outside. We'll finish this conversation later. You're supposed to pick me up at the end of the block so my mom doesn't see us. I'm not afraid to be seen with you. And you should never be hidden. Anyways, you chariot awaits, my lady. <laughs> Thank Locations and people's and never forget. So, what did we learn? Apparently, your boyfriend has the mind of an elephant. Huh? She means when people talk, I listen. <laughs> that guy who listens. Can't be that, right? Right. Um, well, looks like Greg needs me back over there, so I'm going back to work. It's nice meeting you. Uh, same. Don't do everything I would do. Big deal. 
I'm 18 now, Mom. I'm old enough. He's older than you. Your stupid rules. What's seven years, hmm? At your age, a lot. Dad's seven years older than you. Okay, and you see how that worked out. I'm going with that. Becca! Becca! I'm trying to hold this family together. All while juggling this big account at work. You know, if, if I can pull it off, it could mean a promotion. Maybe even a partnership with the firm, which could be good for everybody. But I can't focus on work when I'm constantly worried about you every day. Then don't! Ever since you and Dad split up, you've been treating me like this porcelain doll that's just about to break at any second. It's suffocating me. I can't take care of myself. How I wish that were true. Okay, I'm going to make this simple for you. I don't want you seeing him. Why? Jealous? Don't be absurd. What did he tell you? What did you two do? Everything. I just had the best night of my life. I am not going to let you ruin it for me. You're grounded. Do you hear me? Hey, you. Hey. Is your mom around? No, she's out. Probably for a couple hours. Wanna go first one? Yeah. Oh my god, he's. No! Let's go. No! or something? Oh, is it working? It's over, Adam. What's over? All of it. You stay away from Becca, you stay away from me, and you stay away from this house. You're fired. You got that? Rod and clear. Good. I want you out of our lives and never come back. You take care of yourself, Gail. What's that supposed to mean? Just don't let your emotions get the better of you. That's what I said. You know, I love this place, but the only annoying thing is that the restroom is all the way back. Oh, it's so annoying. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> this is one of my favorite spots. Yeah, mine too. I'm be here with you. <laughs> oh my God! If your mother can see us now, <laughs> she'd kill me. Gosh, I can't imagine what she'd do to you. I can. Wow, this can be very controlling. Tell me about it. But it all comes from love. Love is everything. Even if it's meant to misdirect or to manipulate. Did someone do that to you? Ah, you know she did. Doesn't make her a bad person. I'm just trying to protect the ones I love. No matter what the consequence is, it's instinctual. Sounds like she hurt you. Whoever she was. I can handle it. I can hurt them right back if they get in my way. Because love conquers all, right? It's gonna be like this forever. It's a long time. 